Tackling food insecurities in the First Coast and our communities here is a big effort. Now, going to a grocery store can provide itself a challenge, prove itself a challenge for some people. Once a month, volunteers participate in a food drive in Jacksonville's urban core and surrounding communities. Now, they act as a bridge to getting people fresh produce. Our Tristan Hardy is on your side this morning, showing us how they're keeping families fed. It's easy to go to a fast food restaurant for a quick meal, but Marie Heath and Missy Peters believe a meal should be nutritious and most importantly, accessible. We give them access to fresh fruits and vegetables. A collaboration of service. Once a month, volunteers with the Shell Sweet Resource Center, Community First Cares Foundation, and Feeding Northeast Florida team up to give families free food. There by the grace of God go I. So to know that we're providing a service that's going to support the wellness and the food security for our families, it, it motivates me to come in every day. And try to make a difference. This community near EWU, also known as Newtown, has its challenges with food insecurities. And Peter says they're also dealing with a food desert. For some people, the nearest grocery store is more than three miles. But he says they have a long ways to go to turn a desert into an oasis. But one of the things that we want to do is to make an impact on a monthly basis. Despite what seems at times an uphill challenge, they're holding on to optimism. The fruits of their labor are growing and it's feeding families one bag at a time. To give them access to that for free is such a meaningful thing for us to do. Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.